Hi ladies, I'm Andrea with Red Apple Lipstick and today I want to tell you all about the Lash Project. This is our mascara that we specifically developed to be not only a gorgeous mascara but also a lash conditioner and strengthener. So this is very different than your typical run-of-the-mill mascara. However, it's just everything all in one tube so it's as easy as it gets. But there are a few things that are a little bit different between the Lash Project mascara and commercial mascaras. So today I want to go over not only those differences with you and why that makes mascara, our mascara, so incredibly awesome, but also give you some super tips and tricks as to how to apply it and how to remove it so that you can get the best usage out of the Lash Project mascara as possible. Your lashes will be long, they will be luscious, they will be super, super healthy, and trust me, if you do everything I tell you to do, it will be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start by demonstrating how to put on the Lash Project Mascara. This is technically how you should put on really any mascara, but specifically the Lash Project because it is so different than other formulas. It's really imperative that you do these steps to really maximize the usage that you're gonna get out of not only the tube, but how it's going to make your lashes look big and full and luscious. So obviously, never, ever, ever, like I'm sure you've heard a million times, don't ever pump the tube. It just forces air into the tube and then it dries out. What you do want to do though, when you're getting your mascara on the wand, is kind of circle the tube inside where you can feel the wand kind of scraping the insides of the tube. That'll ensure that you get the most on the brush as possible. And then when you pull it out, you want to just dab off the tip onto the edge. And then we begin. <laughs> So I always tend to look down, like force my head down and look down and then wiggle up because this keeps the mascara from getting on my eyelid, okay? So the technique here is you're going to swipe and wiggle, swipe and wiggle. So as you can see, I swipe to get a little bit of the mascara onto my lashes, but more than that to kind of separate the lashes so that they're not all on top of one another. I don't know if your lashes do that too, but mine tend to like crisscross after sleeping on my side. So the swipe helps separate and then we wiggle from the bottom all the way to the ends. And I am telling you, this is how you get the most amount of mascara onto those lashes. If you skip this step and you just swipe, you are missing like 70% of the mascara that could get onto those lashes. So make sure you wiggle, and then swipe, 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 wiggle, swipe, wiggle. Um, I know another technique that Ashley uses is she will actually rotate the brush as she goes up. And that's so that you can get the mascara off of different parts of the wand, which is a really cool trick too. So try both and see which one works best for you. I tend to rotate the brush as I'm wiggling, like now I'll rotate the brush a quarter turn and wiggle some more. Rotate the brush wiggle some more and then when I get here to the ends I like to use the edge the tip and kind of separate out and then wiggle a little bit more right here on the edge okay so just to go over those steps again you are going to rotate inside the tube pull it out dip it off you're going to swipe and wiggle swipe and wiggle use the tip on the outside edges swipe and wiggle all the way around and it may take you a little bit of time to do your mascara doing my mascara actually takes more time than doing my eyeshadow because I really like to make sure that I separate those lashes with the swipes and that I wiggle to get as much on I feel like that mascara and your eyelashes is kind of that final touch that really like makes your eyes just pop and just really be beautiful so don't skimp on the time to do your mascara if anything skimp on the eyeshadows <laughs> skimp on the foundation but do not skimp on the mascara time so Next, let's get into what makes the lash project different and why I love that so 
When we first developed the Lash Project Mascara, there were a few things that we wanted to make sure to accomplish. That was to make it as allergen friendly as possible for as many women as possible, which by the way, folks, that is a very tricky proposition. Um, but we accomplished that by eliminating a lot of those toxic chemicals that clog your sebaceous glands and your lash follicles and cause that irritation that makes you rub your eyes about midday or makes your eyes watery or red. So we accomplished that, but at the same time, we wanted to make sure that it was somewhat waterproof, which is usually accomplished in mainstream mascaras by using a whole bunch of chemicals. So we had to accomplish the same thing without using all of those chemicals, also a tricky proposition. Then we wanted to make sure that it didn't clump, it didn't flake, it didn't run or smudge on you, and that when you were putting on your mascara and let's say you have to sneeze because obviously you've been using a bunch of eyeshadow powders or foundation powders, like obviously you're gonna sneeze right after you put on your mascara is usually when that will happen. And if you've ever used a mascara that is kind of a wet formula, like when you pull it out, it's very like wet and ooey gooey. If you have ever sneezed right after putting that mascara on, what happens? Exactly, you've got the lashes <laughs> all down here, mascara marks. And that was one of my biggest pet peeves about traditional mascaras, so I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen with the Lash Project. Now, what this means is that the Lash Project is a much drier formula. When you pull it out of the bottle, it looks drier. It doesn't look like your traditional mainstream brands that when you pull it out, it looks ooey gooey and like black tar almost. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like where it's kind of shiny? It's not gonna look like that. It's gonna look very matte and it's gonna look dry. But trust me, that is what you want. <laughs> that is what accomplishes the no smudging. That's what accomplishes if you sneeze that it doesn't get down here. That's what accomplishes being able to be waterproof but easily taken off at the end of the day, which is what we're about to do. And it also accomplishes all those wonderful qualities of not causing your eyes to itch or to water or to get infected or to just be irritated at the end of the day where you can't wait to get home and take your makeup off. This mascara, you will never have that problem. You will always be able to take it all off at the end of the day, no residue where you wake up the next morning and you kind of look like a raccoon and you're like, I thought I got all my mascara off. No, you probably didn't. But with this mascara, you certainly will. So. I know it's a little unusual for a mascara to be a little bit drier, and I know that that can be uncomfortable when you've spent 20 years using traditional mascaras that are ooey gooey, but just trust me and use those techniques that we just talked about. Swivel in the tube, pull out, dip it off, swipe and wiggle, swipe and wiggle. And if you do those techniques, I guarantee you will have the most positive, wonderful experience with mascara that you can possibly imagine. And your lashes will continue to get stronger and more beautiful from the follicle to the tip. And then a couple of months from now, when your lashes are stronger and more gorgeous than they've ever been in your entire life, then when you put on this mascara, it's just like you're trying to enhance your lashes. You're not trying to necessarily make them look long and thick. You're just trying to enhance their natural beauty because they are already long and thick because you took care of your lashes by buying the Lash Project. Okay, so next we're gonna discuss how to remove mascara. Um, I know that there are probably a million different mascara removers on the market today, and if you have found one that really works well for you, awesome, Just keep using it. Um, the one thing that I wanna focus on today is how to make sure that you are not rubbing or scrubbing at your eyelashes, because especially with mascaras that are tricky to get off, um, that can be a real problem, is that you're rubbing, you're scrubbing, you're pulling, and that damages the lashes as well. However, with the Lash Project, you're not gonna have to worry about um, spending so much time trying to get it off because it comes off fairly easily. My favorite way to do this is with coconut oil. Um, I feel like it really um, helps moisturize my eyes at the same time of removing my mascara. So I usually just use a clean finger. I have a dedicated jar of coconut oil just for um, personal beauty care, so <laughs> I'm not sticking my fingers in something that I 
um, will eventually cook with. So anyways, I just get some on my finger and then I kind of just rub it on a cotton ball um, until my skin heat has kind of warmed it up. And then I take that and I press it against my eyelashes and I just kind of let it sit for just a second or two or three or four. Um, I really want it to work on separating the mascara from the lashes instead of just, you know, putting it on and immediately starting to swipe. So we sit here for a little bit longer. And then once I feel like it's sufficient enough, then I will just drag slowly all the way down. Always in one direction straight down to my cheeks and remember I'm getting coconut oil all underneath here too right all right keep going then I use what's left and I come right up underneath and that should pretty much do it but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a clean Kleenex and just kind of go over it again just to get off any residue underneath there you have it I'll usually like do a little bit of extra cleanup um, by dotting let's see yeah I did pretty good pretty good <laughs> okay and then whatever's like left on your finger um, you can just kind of rub on your underneath your eye and gosh, that feels so good. Um, I know it's not the most pretty thing to watch somebody take their makeup off, but uh, trust me, that is the best way to do it. It comes off in no time, and then wash your face, finish your routine, and you are good to go.